Hello, I just wanted to go over kind of how we made the arches from the thin wall PVC. Um, as you can see, not much to it. We can go right over here. First thing we did was make a template. We figured out the best radius for a 10 foot piece of pipe. Uh, we would use steam and then um, once that becomes pliable, it goes pretty fast. It's a two, definitely a two-person job, uh, one to hold each end and kind of work the pipe around. Obviously with a one-man one cameraman and a narrator, it's a little harder to do, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward. I think that the template was $15, maybe $20 worth of materials, uh, a few uh, fence pickets and some two-by-threes, and uh, we were set with that. And then let's go over to the actual arch. <clears throat> this end, it's made out of one inch PVC, thin wall, 200 PSI PVC. So the one inch fittings are right here. We use a T and then uh, this is simply for support. And of course to keep water out, how good that works, I don't know. And then uh, what we do to secure the arches in the yard is just use these these lawn stakes the lawn edging stakes they're like 20 cents a piece hammer those in uh, it's stable the arches were in my yard from uh, let's see Halloween through the first couple weeks of January on this side we do something a little different what we did was First thing, we got a one inch to one and a quarter inch. So this is one and a quarter uh, electrical conduit. And uh, so that allows us to put the smart string controller in there. I don't know if you can see that. I can, I'm getting a glare on my screen. So, uh, and then as you can see, we notched it. And I will explain why here in a minute. But the, uh, the one and, this fitting allows the one inch pipe just to go right in there. Now, what we did was we would run the, we would run the cord to the smart string controller and we could put that in there. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand. So, so basically that and the cable go through and then we have this cable sticking out, right? Okay, so the easiest way to show you is we, we used a grommet. Uh, so that side would go in connected and then we split it so that we could get the cable on it. And then the, let's see if we can get this to work. Like I said, hard to do with one hand. So, you put that on like so, and it's tight. We used a special drill bit. I, I want to say it like a size F. Um, but anyway, that actually will slide into there. And then what happens was we, we got the spacing on this to be just perfect. Let's see, I can't even... So you can imagine how tight that is with the, the cable in there. But then when the cap is on it, it will actually, I'm not, not going to let me do it, but let's put that in there. So with the cable running out, the cap actually passes over that crease in the in the grommet and that actually holds holds not only the cable but it helps waterproof it now here in Colorado I use the term waterproof loosely um, and then we put that upside down so that it drains any water and then this part Now the strip is in the PVC with the lights up. So it goes together like that. 
And I was mentioning before, my yard's on a slope, so to get this perfectly perpendicular, you can actually move these legs, you know, that way, or the other way to get it to be perpendicular, which is just one of my things that I wanted to do. So hopefully that, in this short amount of time, has given you enough of a idea of how we built the arches.